Okay, let's talk magnesium today. Magnesium is one of the most important nutrients that your body needs and is often considered the master mineral. Now, I'm gonna run down a list of all the things that you need magnesium for. So if you have plenty of magnesium, you're gonna enjoy these benefits. Balanced blood sugar, optimal circulation and blood pressure, cellular energy production. Your cells need magnesium to produce energy. It is required in the chemical bio, pro bio process that magnesium is present in order to produce energy. Helps calm the nervous system. Pain relief and muscle relax, and this is huge. When I talk to you about the type of magnesium that we use, you will see why. Bone density and calcium balance. Joint and ligament flexibility. Deep sleep patterns. And it helps reduce anxiety, okay? So what happens if we're deficient in magnesium? What are some symptoms? Now this doesn't mean that if you have these symptoms, you definitely have a magnesium deficiency. That means that magnesium deficiency can possibly be a reason why you have these symptoms. Poor cognitive processing. In other words, you kind of have brain fog. Your brain just doesn't seem to be working like it should. And I think so often in today's society, we often chalk that up to just, well, that's part of getting old. But you know what? It doesn't have to be part of getting old. Headaches and chronic migraines. Oh my goodness. Magnesium plays such a huge part in headaches and chronic migraines. If you're experiencing either one of those, then you shouldn't even consider a magnesium supplement. Just go get a magnesium supplement. Don't think about it. Do it. Constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, fatigue, physical, emotional, and mental any one of those can be linked to not having enough magnesium. Why? Because we have to have it for energy. Insomnia, we're not gonna get those deep sleep patterns without magnesium. Muscle spasms and cramping, again, this is huge for magnesium. If you experience muscle cramps or twitching muscles, that doesn't mean that it's absolutely because of magnesium, but it does mean that magnesium can play a huge role in helping to heal that. Um, chronic pain and fibromyalgia, heart arrhythmias, numbness and tingling, mood and behavioral disorders. So those are just some of the things that could possibly be due to a magnesium deficiency. Now, let's talk about some great ways to get magnesium into our diets because I'm always a proponent for using food for nutrition first and then supplementing if you must. And after I'm done with this list, I'm gonna tell you why I think it's really great to consider supplementing with magnesium dark chocolate, avocados, nuts, such as almonds, cashews, and Brazil nuts. Eating two Brazil nuts a day, I pretty much eat two Brazil nuts every day. I keep them on hand. Um, it also gives you your full day's worth of selenium. So Brazil nuts are a really great nut to keep around for both magnesium and selenium. Legumes like lentils and chickpeas, seeds such as flax, chia, and pumpkin. Remember the best way to consume those is sprouted. Buckwheat and quinoa are two really great, um, they're not technically grains, but those are two really great um, sources of magnesium. Fish like salmon, halibut, and mackerel. And again, salmon, you always want to be Alaskan and wild caught. Also bananas and of course leafy greens, right? Leafy greens are fantastic for so many reasons. Now, the reason why I say you should still consider supplementing with magnesium is because stress rapidly depletes our magnesium supply. So the more stress you have, the faster your magnesium supply is being depleted, which is ironic seeing as how um, mood and behavioral disorders, anxiety, all those type of things are associated with magnesium deficiencies. So also, um, Again, if you're experiencing any kind of muscle cramping, if you are athletic, if you are working out, you are burning. The more energy you are going through in a day, the more magnesium you are burning through. Magnesium is required to produce ATP, and ATP is what our mitochondria uses to produce energy. So again, really just trying to get enough magnesium through your diet is really difficult because there's pesticides and toxins and all of these other things being thrown at us and it's just really easily to be depleted of magnesium and it's just so important in over 300 biochemical processes in our body 
that it should just be um, almost a no-brainer that magnesium is really one of those supplements that you really should consider. There are oral supplements, and I actually am going to post um, a little, you know, uh, kind of listing that I got from one of the really reliable naturopathic doctors. And he kind of breaks down the different types of oral magnesium and what each type is best for. The thing with oral magnesium is for some people, they um, may have a hard time digesting it. Now, these are the ones that are best for digestion too, most easily digested. But if you find that you tried an oral supplement and that it bothers your digestion, then um, you might consider doing what our family does, and that is using a magnesium oil spray. Now, I love the magnesium oil spray primarily because it's really easily absorbed into our bodies, right? So just as easily as an oral. So I don't feel like I need to use the oral. Although um, if you are mainly using it for one that crosses the blood brain barrier, then you might want to consider the oral one for that. But otherwise, as far as muscle spasms, aches and pains, general overall energy requirements, tension, headaches, any of that kind of stuff, the magnesium oil spray is amazing for that because if you're like a lot of us and you store your stress right in here, right? You get the tension back in here. You may be able to feel your headaches originating and shooting up from back in here. You can spray the magnesium oil spray directly on where you're feeling the discomfort and where it's tight and rub it in and if you don't feel some relief at first, you can continue to apply it. You pretty much cannot reduce yourself um, on magnesium using the magnesium oil spray. And so instead you can almost get relief directly. You can pr apply the relief directly to it. So whether it's sore shoulders or maybe you were exercising and you have some soreness or the beginning of a headache, spray some on. If you're still uncomfortable half an hour to an hour later, spray some more on. If it's a high stress day, and that tension isn't leaving, you can continue to spray on the magnesium oil spray and rub it in. Now it will give you, um, it is kind of salty, but that's okay. Just be warned, don't like rub it in and then rub your eye because it's gonna be salty. Also, if you get muscle cramps, a lot of people tend to get those on their feet or you know, obviously the back of our legs, Charlie horses, magnesium oil can be sprayed directly on those areas and you should be able to feel some relief right from the direct application. The bottoms of our feet are also really efficient at uptaking the magnesium as well, and also essential oils and other different things. And so, you know, again, that's just a great way to get the magnesium into your body is to spray it right on the bottom of your feet and rub it in. Or if you have sore muscles from exercise or working out, spray it right on those sore muscles. And also um, even on your stomach, your stomach. So the bottoms of your feet and then your neck and then your stomach are best for absorption. So you can go ahead if you have, you know, if you are experiencing irritable bowel syndrome or abdominal discomfort, you can go ahead and spray it directly on your stomach and it will also be absorbed great there as well. So I really actually recommend that every single person keeps some type of magnesium supplement in their house. I just think it's incredibly wise to do that just because of the huge role that it plays in our overall health and energy levels. So I, um, I'll, I'll link the magnesium oil spray. You can pick it up on Amazon. I believe for the size I'm holding here, which is four ounces, might be 15 to 18 dollars. This is like a year supply for one person easily, unless you really are stressed out and really go through a lot of sprays. You can pretty much count on this lasting you about a year. Now, if your whole entire family is using it, like I encourage my kids, they're athletes, you know, if your shins are sore, spray it on there. You know, spray it on there. I spray it on there to help our foster daughter sleep. She gets it on the bottom of her feet because, you know, not sleeping is like a superpower for her. And, um, so I really try to use this on and encourage everyone in my family to use it. Uh, their kids, you know, they're not going to be um, diligent about it. But I actually use this as part of my morning and bedtime routine. I get up, I wash my face as I'm getting ready, you know, whether I'm out of the shower or just your average morning getting ready, it gets spritzed on the back of my neck, neck and shoulders and rubbed in. That's where I hold my tension. I got two-year-old and teens. Yes, my day gets stressful. 
So I start off and I end my day. Now at the end of the day is when I do the bottoms of my feet and I tend to only do like two sprays, one on each side on the back of my neck and then I spray it on the bottom of my feet as well. And you know, I used to deal with my toes would cramp, like the bottom of my feet might get muscle cramps. I don't deal with that. And I have pretty much eliminated the majority of my headaches. You know, I used to feel the tension building and I knew a headache was inevitable, but now, well, I may not be able to relieve every last symptom of the stress and tension out of the back of my neck. I can keep the headache from forming by doing a continuous, you know, like keeping the um, magnesium spray on hand and whenever I feel it start to build, I can rub it in and rub it in. Now, there have been occasions where I have gotten rid of all the symptoms and been able to move on with my day using the magnesium spray, but I don't wanna guarantee you that that will definitely happen for you every single time. So if you have any questions or if you wanna know more about the magnesium spray, check out the links and the information that I'm gonna post above. And I really hope you guys consider adding magnesium into your supplementation and definitely doing your best to eat some of those foods that you know are rich in magnesium. And if you have a great experience with the magnesium, let me know. I love hearing your stories.